What did people learn too late? Learning when to say no. Learning how to apologize when it's your fault, and how to not apologize when it's not your fault. How to manage their finances. Lesson number one, $1,000 is not a lot to have, but it's a lot to owe. Lesson number two, it's much easier to blow $100 than it is to make $100. Lesson number three, even if it's just $10, it makes a difference on how you spend or save it. What not to share on the internet? That you might be wrong sometimes. Some never learn. Edit, change they to you. I've discovered that my nature is to never accept that I'm wrong. I will give excuses, argue, but not accept. I've made it a resolution this year to just accept it when I'm wrong. In Western cultures, if you admit that you're wrong when you actually are, and ask how you can do better next time and then do it, people will be a lot more impressed than if you're the guy who is never wrong. Honestly yeah. Never being wrong is a party trick. Being a good person shows commitment and the ability for growth. Far more impressive. The value of a good unconditional friend. Had the same best friend since I was two. Don't know where I'd be without her smile. Me too. We're nearly 30. She's more like a sister at this point, we're really close and speak most days. Our kids are the same age as well. She's always got my back, she's kind, honest and loyal and not afraid to tell me when I'm ducking up. I couldn't be without her. Interest rates, credit cards, credit score, money-saving techniques, 401k. In other words, anything that keeps you from being trapped by poor money management. I straight up had to go out of my way to take a personal finance class to learn half of this shit, and that was like two months ago and I already forgot most of it. I recommend the book I Will Teach You to Be Rich by Ramit Sethi if you need a refresher. I've been working through it myself and it's pretty useful so far. Alternatively, you could also write a book about how to get rich and people will buy it. Oh, so you read it. That it's possible to do everything ducking right and still lose. Just life in it edit I didn't know that was from Star Trek. I just know it from a comment on Reddit six months ago and shit is true. Chaff Picard. May you live long and lit. To boldly go where no mandem has gone before. How to communicate. How dangerous driving a car can be. This is very very true. I survived two car accidents without any scratch, in three months. Drive safe and remember just because you have priority way, it doesn't mean that they will give it to you pay attention. Sometimes letting go of your priority is the way to avoid an accident. Edit, by priority way I meant right of way. I didn't know how was it called I English so I written how I would say it in my language. Letting an idiot having his way is preferable to getting into an accident with said idiot, no matter how well you are within your rights. And also know that one day that idiot will be you because you lost focus, as humans tend to do once in a while. Social media can consume your life. It's not all real, and not everyone posting pictures is having a great time, and not every I love you so much we should catch up is genuine. Edit, alright I had no idea this would blow up. But I have to add some stuff to clarify. I wrote this because of the impact social media has had on my family. My mom will all the time look at the pictures of her friends and complain and even cry about her own life. It isn't just her because I know for a fact that everyone in our community thinks the same way. They live to take pictures and show off on Facebook. Someone else I know is wasting money on expensive items when they don't have enough of it strictly to make a woman jealous on social media. For some people saying that it's not wrong to comment, you are right. Therese nothing wrong with positivity under the pictures of girls. It's not okay when it's entirely fake and if you don't know that someone can comment something nice and still hate your guts you've got to be new on earth. I have had so many rage-inducing people around me who are obsessed with social media and are letting it ruin their lives that I can't stand it. Except Reddit. That happiness usually comes from a diverse range of interests, hobbies and commitments. You are not your job. Your romantic partner cannot be your everything, etc. It's so easy to get sucked into a life where your career is everything or where you wrap your entire identity around your partner. There is nothing wrong with celebrating your loved ones and being close. And there is nothing wrong with caring about your job, you just need more to thrive. I see this so often in relationships. Two people meet and fall in love. They each inspire one another based on their interests and achievements, it's part of what makes them fall in love. 
But slowly, over time, they let those hobbies go. Stress gets in the way. Bills pile up. And then one day they find themselves wondering why they ever loved this person in the first place. Instead of being sexy and interesting they're just part of a routine. TLDR, diversify your interests and activities to be happy. Don't rely on a single person, hobby, or commitment to give you everything you need. With the tapestry of your life with many threads, Fraser. Don't worry if you aren't living an exciting or extravagant life. It's okay to live simply and quietly. It doesn't mean that you're wasting your life. That they are terrible at parenting. Too late and won't admit it. Your username is weirdly relevant. Steve Holt. The value of walking away from someone toxic in your life, even if it is your parents and family. If you are thinking of it and are scared and have somewhere where you can land in a safe place, then do it. It hurts like hell for a long while, but it gets better and one day you realize how peaceful your life is and you find you only miss the family you wish you had had. Don't ever think it's okay to talk to yourself in a manner you wouldn't let another human being talk to you. The biggest abuser I ever had in my life was my constant companion, the thoughts in my head. We often take care to choose our words when correcting a child or a friend. But if anyone had talked to me, the way I talked to me for 30 straight ducking years, I would have murdered them. And probably got away with it too. Be nice to yourself, you're the only you, you have. My brain after reading that yeah be nicer to yourself you stupid duck. Why don't you think happier thoughts you little bitch? That some things can never be undone. The actions you take and the words you speak will come back around sooner or later. Yes some words can never be taken back. I learned the hard way. This is why it's better to train yourself to think carefully before saying something. I didn't do that because I wanted everything to come naturally but I realized that's just an excuse I used to avoid taking responsibility of things I said. Not everyone is going to like you, no matter how hard you try. You could be the juiciest peach in existence, full of flavor. Yet there will still be those who don't like peaches. You're as pure as a peach and as nice and as neat, as fine and as fair and as swell and as sweet. As soft and as smooth and as cool and as cute. She smiled at him gently. It's just. I hate fruit. F in the chat for Peachman. That most people will just help you, how and if they can, if you are honest with them it seems like so many people feel the need to conceal what they actually want from you, and try to get it by presenting a half-truth or what they think you want to hear, instead of just being straightforward. That it's never too late to learn. Sitting on your ass all day is not good for your health at all. Rolls over onto stomach instead. Now you listen here you little shit. Saying I love you or wanting to reach out to your family, friends, and loved ones, but crippling anxiety stops you. You never know when it may be too late to say these things, so be in the moment, and live love in the present authentically. Also, to learn the difference between saying I love you as a statement, and saying I love you but really meaning do you love me. It's fine to switch the real meaning from time to time. Everyone needs a little occasional reassurance. But if all my I love you utterances come from the latter, and especially the first one in a romantic relationship, I need to do some work of myself if I hope to have any quality relationships in my life. That dwelling in the past only wastes your present and shortens your future. That hating people who are different makes you nothing but unhappy. Wow isn't that the truth? Mistakes have consequences. Sometimes they are huge consequences, such as a mistake while driving could kill yourself or someone else. Sometimes they're little consequences. But always learn from your mistakes and that you should always be learning and improving yourself. Can you milk me, fucker? <laughs>